So we've made our stimulus. It grows in size. It, we can change the colour, we can change the timing of it. We've got the timing down quite uh, down pat quite well, actually. Uh, if we assume that this, the refresh rate is 60 frames per second, what we want to do now is actually get the correct stimulus size. And so we uh, need to change this monitor parameter. And we will also need to think about what units are we going to use to display the stimulus. At the moment, I've just thrown in, um, I think it was 20 and 200. And I just said, let's just get something working. And I think this is a pretty good approach to starting your program. Get something working and then get it correct. You've got to make sure that you get it correct. So, what units can we use and what do they mean? Let's go to the PsychoPy documentation and we can look here. So just type into Google you know, units, PsychoPy, window units or stimulus units and you should get something that comes along here. Or you can just type in this up the top. And so here is the documentation. It's quite good documentation actually. And it says we can use different units for the window. Remember the window is the canvas upon which we will present our stimulus and the stimuli itself. We should use the same units for the stimuli and the window. We can use height units. So I'm just, just read through this, see what, what you get. You can get normalized units. So here the top left would be zero, zero. So the top left would be zero, zero. The bottom right would be minus one, minus one. And you can get um, normalized units for your monitor. <clears throat> Sorry, that's here. Monitor, not here. We can also think of the stimulus as being centimetres on the screen. And so we can calculate between centimetres on the screen, degrees of visual angle using, I think it's the arctan or function or some trig function. And for that, we need to know how far away from the screen the viewer is the subject is because we will calculate between degrees of visual angle and centimeters it's not fixed the other thing that we can use is use degrees of visual angle now like I said before we need to know some information about our monitor and our subject because degrees of visual angle is dependent on how far away the participant sits so if I sit right far away the whole screen only takes up a small visual angle, whereas if I'm very close, obviously it's going to take up a lot more of the visual angle. So we need to know the distance away from the monitor, and we also need to know things like uh, the screen width in, pix uh, in centimeters and the pixels in the monitor, because PsychoPy is going to calculate and convert between well the pixels and centimeters and degrees of visual angle behind the scenes we don't need to worry about that but we do need to get these measurements so let's get the first one what is the screen width well I'm presenting it here on this Dell XPS uh, dunder clunker as we would call it and so here is a rule and I'm going to measure the screen width so that's the X we'll just call that X from here to here this is just the part of the monitor that has the pixels. So I'll put it up against there, just nice and gentle. And it's 38.5 centimetres. So I'll write that down, 38.5 width. Now we need the pixels. So I know, for instance, that the X pixels here on this monitor is 1600 and the Y is 900. So I've got 1600 by 900. So I'll write that down as well. Your monitor is going to be different. How can you get that information? You can either go to your desktop, the personalize, and look at the screen resolution that you've got, or you could get the, the um, model number of your monitor, plug it into Google's, and see whether or not you can get the pixel dimension, uh, not dimensions, the pixel width and the pixel height for your monitor. So mine's 1600 by 900, uh, 38.5 centimeters viewing distance, so it's the screen width, 
but we also need to know how far away from the monitor the subject is. So we need to go to the Yulmats paper, the paper, and we have to think about, well, what does the distance mean? So here on figure one, right at the start, they give us an idea. Here you have a freely moving mouse. It's, it's just walking around doing its thing. Standard, standard mouse, like a Lionel. Okay, so we've got Lionel here. The monitor, so, and it's in a box. Uh, length, depth, and height, and the monitor is on top. So that means that if the mouse is on the bottom, and we and we ignore the fact that the mouse's head is, you know, half a centimetre or one centimetre above the ground, on average the mouse will move around and do its thing. So we can probably ignore that <coughs> artefact. So we need to know the monitor is above the mouse, and so we need to know the height of the box. The monitor is sitting directly on the box. So this is probably on the experimental procedures or the methods section of the paper. Now this is a current biology paper and the order of the um, the order of the sections is not you know, abstract introduction methods results discussion but rather it's sort of they've changed it around I think it goes straight into results so a little introduction results discussion um, procedures. So let's have a look. The arena was a box yep 48 centimeters wide uh, deep and okay so 30 centimeters high so we write down 30 centimeters high good so we've got all the information now so we can set all that information for any number of monitors so if you change the monitor and you've got that information for that monitor or this monitor or that monitor we can tell psychopi about that let me just pop that to the left we don't need that but all that information goes into this file or this variable or data structure called the monitor. In this case, it's called the test monitor or default. How can we set this information into this data structure? Let's go to PsychoPy. Get PsychoPy up and running. So this is the standalone program. And we will wait for it to load. And we're looking for a um, button called, I think it's Monitor Center. Because in Monitor Center, we can set the distances, the pixels, and all that. So have a look up here. We've got, so this is version 1.9.1. .1. We've got here, see Monitor Center. Click on Monitor Center. Here we go. Choose Monitor. So here, we named, what was it? Test monitor. Test monitor. So here are some of the other ones that I use in my programming. Test monitor. And then it's got some notes here. Default, not very useful monitor. That's okay. We're just trying to get this image to be the correct size. So do we want to use Bits++? Plus Plus? No. This is a hardware box released by, I think, Cambridge Research Systems or something like that. It's an uh, English company. I believe, which do hardware for visual stimulation. It's got some buffers and high resolution color stuff. So we don't want that. The screen distance. So this is the distance away from the monitor and we have that at 30. Yep, correct. The screen size, pixels, 1600 horizontally. Yep, by 900 vertically, correct. Good. What's the screen width? Remember, this is just the bit of the monitor with the pixels, not the outside distance. 38.5, correct. So we hit save. So these values are saved under test monitor. So if I look at my extended laptop, see it's got a different screen resolution and it's a slightly large monitor. My flipped Dell laptop, it's again, slightly different. It's an even larger monitor. So you see, we can, we can make any number of monitors uh, with the dimensions that we have and different experiments if they have different distances. We can also, if we had a photometer or a, a light measure, we can calibrate the red, the green, the blue, and the general luminance and calculate a simple gamma function to then normalize the intensity of the light across all of the output um, intensities. So look up table. We're not going to worry about that. We have set 
test monitor, we have set the general parameters. And so now when we call upon that using this monitor, test monitor, it's going to go grab all the correct numbers now and then it's going to set the uh, back of the back of the envelope or back behind the scenes calculations. It will set them up and then change the size as required for our stimuli. So do that for your monitor that you that you're currently working on. And in our next video, we will now start to change the units and we'll start to um, just tidy up the code so it now accurately reflects the size of the stimulus that we are chasing. All right, I'll leave it there.